Hello. Good evening. Today is November 2nd. Yeah, I didn't know if it was, is it Tuesday or Wednesday. I do know it's November 2nd. I'm doing my November gas. If you see the little hand icon with the card, it's my uh, monthly giveaway. And my bad, I forgot to do one for October. October was kind of crazy around here for me. Um, so I apologize that I didn't get one out. I didn't even do anything for Halloween and normally I go in a costume contest and I've been working for months on a costume and didn't do any of that this year. Too busy, too much going on. So so uh, we're ready for my gas. Oh, before I start, because I don't want to forget, a lot of people have given me shout outs. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, I got up to 75 subscribers now. Oh, hang on. My dog wants to say hi to you. Hold on. So, um, a lot of you guys gave me shout outs and had people come check my channel out. That was awesome. That was like super awesome. Um, I know Ann Crumb has done one for me. Takora Bushcraft. Thank you. Um, oh, my mind just went blank. Tack Hill. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't know me and haven't probably seen um, my videos from the start till today. I hope you stick around. I'm trying to get better at this. Uh, Bentley's Backyard Bushcraft, uh, James McIntyre. There was a lot of you guys that gave me shout outs and I'm so forever thankful to that. Um, this isn't about a popularity contest for me or who has the most subs. You can't take them with you when you got a bug out, right? Um, so, my giveaway. No, my gas. This is my gas. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Mm. Nectar of the gods. Don't mean to offend anybody out there. It's just a saying. Um, here is my giveaway. Anybody who has received one of these in the past, they can vouch for how packed they are. It's all seeds that come from my conspiracy garden and my my truck patch. And uh, I'm sure if some of y'all watched my last garden update, that was my truck patch, which is my newest garden I put in. I have two of them. And next year I'm converting my uh, conspiracy garden to just flowers and herbs, and then I'm going to leave the, the truck. If I'm still here, I'm hoping to be at my off-grid location by next year, but I really don't. I think I'm going to have another growing season here. There's just too much I got to do to get to North Carolina. Um, so much involved, just trying to downsize, get rid of things, and then I have to uh, do some painting and stuff like that, aesthetic stuff on my house so I can try to sell it. Uh, who wants a big, huge brick house with two brick fireplaces and five bedrooms and yeah um, so I'm ready to downsize and get get to North Carolina in the mountains um, be with be with family out there so let's get started on my gas I don't know if I should go through all of the seeds that I put in here but let's just say there's a lot I mean, you guys, if you've looked through my videos, I grow a lot of things in my garden. So this is all stuff from my garden. You'll have, uh, I'll show you. I'll go ahead and go through them. These are uh, flowers. Marigolds and zinnias. I companion plant these for pollinators, for bees, for butterflies. And the marigolds I put in there as a companion plant to keep some of the bugs away from attacking my tomatoes and my peppers. Um, there's reason why I plant everything in my gardens the way that I do. Uh, I put basil and dill next to my tomatoes. Um, do not ever put onions next to corn. No, no, that's bad. Uh, I have some of my beautiful white silver queen corn and uh, I'll put a little note in there to whoever wins this the ideal way to plant this so that you get a maximum output on your corn. Yeah, I didn't do that this year. 
like I had the previous years. I got greedy and it failed miserably. Uh, yeah, a tragic fail. Uh, so yeah, I'll put, put a helpful hint with the corn. And I have some of my Clemson okra. Don't know if it'll get 10 foot tall for you like it does for me, but it might. So sugar pie pumpkins, my little pumpkins that I grow. Some bush beans. Sumter cucumbers, good for pickling. Some of my spaghetti squash seeds. Two types of heirloom tomatoes. Heirlooms are pretty much, they're, they're more resistant than your uh, genetic or hybrids. So uh, these are heirlooms. One's in a mana orange and the other is mortgage lifter. Mortgage lifter is supposed to have a high yield per plant. Um, that's how it got its name. The guy who crossbred and came up with the mortgage lifter, he purchased however many acres of land. He grew these and he was able to pay off his mortgage by selling tomatoes. That's, that's how it's got its name. Okay, these are kind of odd. See how tiny those are? This is miniature strawberry popcorn. Little bitty miniature corn plants. And yes, it is popcorn. You can pop it. And it has little bitty ears. Um, if you have questions on how to dry the ears, um, whoever wins this, you can message me or comment and email me and we'll work on it. I'll explain how to do that too. Um, lima beans. These are pole beans. You, you've seen in my garden where I have pole beans growing. Uh, sugar baby watermelons. This is a variety of leaf lettuce. And some of my saved dill seed. Smells good. <laughs> so I'm also including a bonus. Note that it my cotton. Um, I'm still harvesting cotton. So along with the cotton, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Hang on a second. Okay. So along with the cotton, I'm going to include some of the chapsticks. So if you take this cotton and you just pull, I'm going to leave the seeds in there. So sure to pull your seeds out but you take the cotton and then you'll put your chapstick wax lip balm wax on there and you'll have a wick and you can put your wick and have your candle so I don't think I explained that when I was doing my bug out bag but I might have um, and if you want flavors on the lip balm uh, comment that and you say I want in on gas or I want gas and then leave a flavor um, chocolate, mint I have what I call a cherry bomb which is cherry mint coconut, unflavored uh, I think root beer, I'm not sure I have a ton of flavors so comment below and if I don't have that flavor or if you just want unflavored I use them on my skin my hands when they get cracked and chapped all it is is uh, coconut coconut oil and uh, beeswax So. Yeah, there's no chemicals in it. Nothing harmful. It's all vegan, vegan friendly. Sometimes I uh, put a little beeswax in so it's not totally vegan because it's had a bee involved in it, but vegan friendly. And no animals were hurt in the making of my products. I think I said that already. Okay, so thank you guys for all the shout outs. Thank you for the subs. I'm coming up on 100 subs. And as soon as I get to 100, I'll do another gas. Only it's not going to be a gas for seeds, but I might probably throw a couple seeds in there, a couple seed packets. Um, but I'll pick out something different. And it uh, won't be anything big. I mean, I can't afford big, all these nice knives and ferro rods. I really want a ferro rod. Um, it's the only thing I don't have that I would really like to have. I have a tent. I have um, all kinds of knives. and. But yeah, ferro rod. So I think that's next on my... I'm saving up for one of those two. A couple things I'm saving up for. Okay, so thanks for sticking around. Uh, sorry my videos are kind of goofy, crazy, and not well put together. But we'll get there. I'm new. I'm nervous. Um, comment below. 
that you want gas and uh, flavor say gas and coconut or gas and cherry or gas and honey and uh, thumbs up if you like it and thanks for sticking around uh, I'll, get, I'll start doing more winter's my off time so I'm kind of lost I'm used to doing the garden tours and the garden videos we'll figure it out what to do um, have a good one have a blessed one think a veteran remember our boys and girls deployed and a uh, random act of kindness for a stranger goes a long ways Till next time.